<laughs> Wait, what? We can't just gloss over the fact that she just threw a coin right into this guy's butthole. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back and we're gonna be watching Eden Zero Season 2 Episode 7 today. We're rolling right along with the gang showing up for Round 2 versus Draken. Or really for them, it's Round 1. But it is Round 2 for us and it's Round 2 for Rebecca. Now going at it with a completely different angle, they're all going to attack him together. Try to take it down without being fractured, without being split up. And maybe things can go differently. But Draken, as we know, as Rebecca said, is kind of insanely strong with his ability. The Alchemist Ether Gear just seems to be broken beyond all belief. So how are they going to do it? Will this actually change things? Of course it's going to change things, but will it change the result? Will Shiki live this time? That's what we really have to find out. I think it's also just a cool take on time travel with Eden Zero and kind of like the, the, the chronophages from Season 1. All of it kind of setting up for this reveal of cat leaper to be maybe rolling back time for rebecca or for everybody else and rebecca's the only one who could sense that it happened or you know it kind of seems like it could just be like an alternate timeline considering the fact that he's calling her number 30 now and she was number 29 before did she jump to an alternate timeline where shiki doesn't get killed or did, did she jump to an alternate timeline where things just go completely differently this introduces so many different possibilities in the world of Eden Zero and with it being a space travel show, a show where it's literally about going to different planets, universes, and being in space, you know, it kind of fits the bill. So it's really interesting. And of course, we're getting our up to here with the fan service, man. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, boy. Classic Mashima behavior, am I right? absolutely loving this ad adaptation of Eden Zero, although I do think that I still have the gripe that they are kind of cutting corners with a little bit of the animation so far. Um, a lot of still frames, um, not a lot of stuff just moving. Like, there's, it seems like they're cutting, the, cutting corners more than I'd like them to. Hopefully they kind of shape up when we get to, like, bigger action scenes in the future, uh, but we'll have to wait and see, and I hope you guys are enjoying my reactions to Eden Zero, because I am sure as hell loving making them, so if you are enjoying them, make sure to let me know by leaving a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when my videos go up in the future. Let's just get right into Eden Zero. Let's go. Four versus four, so are we going to do element four again? And Sybil's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> in the middle right there we going again I think the scale of the ship is kind of off here but <laughs> you put that gun in your dick hole man everyone except 30 god I love that outfit for Rebecca man <laughs> so good <laughs> You know, would match against him. So, what should they do? They barged in here, though. That's just the kind of person Rebecca is. He wants the money. <laughs> That's what Wise is interested in girls and money. It's too late. <laughs> What are you gonna do? They're just gonna land? Again, I think the scale is off with the ship. Like, I think their ship's supposed to be way bigger than this. Okay, Element 4 just popping out right away. Alright. Oh, they're gonna go on their little mini ship. Wait, is it gonna be... The... Yup. Okay, she's out there. She's going to reprogram it. It's going to be the four versus four. That's the name of the episode. The four shining stars. Oh, God. He's a per He's a lollycon. Let's go, sister. Butayaro. Uh-oh. Oh, the rematch. Homura gets the rematch this time. And Witch versus Laguna. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, shit. Wait, can all of them battle dress? 
Oh, they all can. Let's go. What? Well, Homer was like, "What about me?" Uh, I'll give the app. <laughs> Gotta get that full transformation in. Oh yes. Oh yes, hers is nice too. They gotta give us the thighs for, <laughs> for her. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Um, yo, yes, yes. Okay. Um, no problems. Well, we are the four shining stars. Oh, I like, I like Homeras a lot. Uh, uh, dude, put it in your pants. No comment on the car chase scene. It got hit and like no damage. Is he is he out there? He's gonna anti grab the the entire ship. Okay. He's making an anti gravity field. Oh, that's definitely not safe, though. <laughs> you know what? They may not be animating the characters moving a lot, but they are giving us some very good camera angles. I'll just say that. And then it just burst in. And the ship literally looks like it's taking no damage from that. Moskoi is with them? It's Master Noah! What is he doing here? Was he there the whole time? Or just in this timeline? Oh, he's going for him. He's it's just a hologram. Oh. He's got clairvoyance? Eye of God? Outside of time itself. Oh shit. He's gonna tell us about her ability? Okay. I think it sounds like it's confirmed now. Ten years ago. Died in a car accident. Oh. She time leaped out of the car accident? Happy was her real ca You don't remember it. How many times did she changed her location in time? This everything about this here? Wait, did she did all that bad stuff happen to her like in the last season too? Like that she was just, the part the the path we saw from Rebecca's point of view was just like it was exactly that from her point of view, but maybe different things happened actually in those universes. Oh shit! Thirty. There you go. The previous world itself. She retained it this time. Is the only world where Draken could be defeated? Defeated. <laughs> Wait, does he want him to be defeated? So we don't know that for sure. More dangerous for him. So he tried to distract it, but he was too late. That puts her in a dangerous situation. Because he can take it. So this is bad for them too. And the whole world of Draken were to get her power. Draken's world number two. He predicted events just based on locations? I, he did that too? Was he trying to push her to this world? To defeat him! Because with her power awakened, now we can defeat him in this world? 
Oh, back down here. Because they can't cry. Oh, that's actually a good matchup for them then. Hey, yo! Hey, yo. We have a heart. Meanwhile... Yep, that's what she does. I like her battle dress. Oh, yes. Sister's battle dress, though. God damn. Woo! <laughs> what the fuck is that fucking... Ha! Ha! Same thing he said to Rebecca in World 29. Uh, this again... <laughs> Oh, man, in the dick. Nice. <laughs> Sister, best android. <laughs> what an amateur. Ten years! <laughs> when she tortures, she tortures people too? Oh, Dan, you're a dominatrix. Just come at me. In his butthole. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Wait. What? We can't just gloss over the fact that she just threw a coin right into this guy's butthole. <laughs> the perfect matchup. The torture versus torture. Meanwhile, Homura's battle dress or her image that she put took on is just, woo, very nice. First task is Valkyrie. Look at that. Dude, the fucking no, no strap. It's just God's gift to this world. I mean, Mashima's gift to this world. Is she going to do something different this time? Five sword fencing crane form. Why didn't she use this in the last world? Cleaving the wind, it's... Beautiful, Homura. You are just amazing. Wait, is is Master Noah's voice actor freaking is it is it actually like bak Bakugo? Yes! Like I'm starting to I'm kind of hearing picking up on that nasally voice a little bit. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Dude, it is! I was right! It is it, it freaking is Bakugo, dude. Oh my god, I did I dude my I have a keen ear for voice actors. What can I tell ya? What can I tell ya? He's just talking more quietly than he ever does as those characters. One of the Arasion Seis Galactica. Arasion Seis was also used in Fairy Tale, by the way. <laughs> One of the most powerful warriors in the cosmos. Thick boy. <laughs> Undead Joe? Wait, what? The life support machine to maintain his youth. Uh oh, uh oh. We're losing the connection. His weakness in World 29, Rebecca. Did she? We're not going to get the full info, of course. Damn. How did he project himself into another world? Undead though? Wait, where is this blue garden? This is my final gamble. Both me and this planet will die. Wait, what? Is he part of the planet? Wait, what? God damn, Rebecca. I'm sorry, guys. My mind just goes there all the time. She must have seen it. Drinking? She saw his ability in use. No. Hmm. Meanwhile, on the battlefield. Uh, he's got a sniper rifle. She can, like, override his ether gear, though, right? Is that true? <laughs> Oh, oh, it breaks her hol camouflage device. Uh, uh, he hacked it herself. Damn, she's getting shot by it. St 
Stop it! Oh my god! She's still going. Wait, what? He, he disappeared? He can turn himself into ephemeral flame. So now he wants to snipe her? He could have just punched her with heat? I think she's gonna know where he's coming from. Fureyama Amo! Ah, shit. Here we go again. Area move and then she just dodges. <laughs> Prison Matrix? Wait, what? Oh, she's hacking all of the guns simultaneously? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have no hope. Take her out. Take him out. Guns a harvest. I love my English man. Meanwhile, Aww. their hearts. Oh. All right, so it all comes out in the open. Rebecca's ability completely explained now. She's able to basically every time her life is in danger, or I guess when strong feelings are had jump timelines almost she starts a new world if something is going wrong in her life so now she's arrived in world 30 this has happened 30 times before and like i said in the reaction i wonder how many times this happened in season one like when she was with aliga and he was gonna make her a slave her his slave or like turn her into furniture maybe she did get turned into her furniture in, in another timeline but now she just moved jump timelines and but we were always seeing it from her perspective so for her maybe it was all continuous happening and there was it was all happening subconsciously so she didn't notice that it was happening so all the events of season one may have happened in multiple different worlds which is kind of crazy to think about but there it is so now we're in a world where she has that ability and she apparently saw dragon joe's weakness but did we see dragon joe's weakness we saw his ether gear activated we saw him taking a bath completely naked and drinking alcohol that's all we really got from him. So, really, what is that weakness? And Master Noah, of course, couldn't tell us the entire weakness because that'd be too easy. That'd be too easy. So, she has the key. She has the key and knows the key to beating him. We just don't know what it is yet. And, of course, Shiki's going to have to take advantage of that. But I'm loving all these matchups with <laughs> the androids and the Element 4. They're just perfect matchups, dude. <laughs> the Torture versus the Torture. Um, Laguna versus Witch, who, you know, Laguna's like, you can't cry, but Witch is like, I can cry. It's kind of funny there. And then we have, of course, Hermit taking down Flame Sniper Boy. Fee, I think his name is, there at the end with her hacking skills. Oh, my only complaint still, guys, is I feel like it's a lot of talking heads. A lot of talking heads, not a lot of movement, and a lot of cut frames. Like, it's just like, oh, yeah, you cut, like, they moved because they were here, and then we cut the frame, and now they're over here. But it was like, you know, it's not really being animated. It's just, like, a, you know, almost like a gif of the panel of the, in, the, in the manga. And so I'm not really digging that. Um, I'm not really sure... If this was as much of a problem in season one i can't really remember but it just it just keeps coming back episode after episode so i'm really hoping that that goes away because it's just disappointing I've, you know i'm able to turn my brain off though even from that with all of the freaking great outfits and fan service that we get from this from heated zero man it's just it's like oh yeah brain brain go yes brain go yes i like this <laughs> it's like well Maybe I shouldn't as much, but hey, I'm still enjoying Eden Zero, and I, I still am a big proponent of reading the manga for it. If you guys really are enjoying the story, but you're as disappointed with the animation as I have been, then I'd recommend reading the manga, because it's very good, and Mashima's art is beautiful, and it doesn't get slightly censored like it does in the anime, so definitely check it out if you're interested. I'm still going to be keep, keep making videos about it, because I do enjoy watching it, and I do enjoy making reactions for it, even if I am a little disappointed, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, my reactions, as you guys may have already known uh, in my, from my previous reactions. I'll tell you guys how I see it and how I'm feeling about something, 
and that is how I'm feeling. So if you guys have any comments or anything that I missed, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And if you guys want to check out the full reactions that are available on Patreon, link is in the description. And of course, I want to thank my commentator subscribers and above on Patreon. JMC, Jose Rafael, Castor, Lorem, Sindonai, Was Round One, ZK Stir, Yo, you guys are amazing. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much for your support. But that'll have to do it for me. I've been Zach, you've been you, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.